हे गाइज वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड विशिंग ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टूडेज रेसिपी इज द स्पाइस नटेला हॉट चॉकलेट नाउ दिस इज द यूरोपियन स्टाइल थिक एंड क्रीमी रिच हॉट चॉकलेट विच इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द इंस्टेंट हॉट चॉकलेट बॉम्ब दैट वी मेड लास्ट वीक आई वॉज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस टू दिस ऑन माई ट्रिप टू इटली अबाउट थ्री फोर ईयर्स अगो एंड इट वॉज लिटरली वन ऑफ द बेस्ट हॉट चॉकलेट्स आई हैड एवर हैड आई मीन इट वॉज लाइक नथिंग आई एवर टेस्टेड बिफोर and that's the reason why i decided to make this type of a hot chocolate and this is the kind i have most of the times at home as well so let's get started first thing you want to take some full fat milk now as you can see this is off the heat we're not going to be heating the milk right away the first thing we're going to do is mix all of our ingredients so i'm going to first add the nutella and then i am first going to give it a quick whisk because i want that nutella to mix with the milk properly the reason why i am not putting it on heat right away is because we want all the ingredients to cook properly and uniformly and we don't want there to be any lumps now here i have all of the uh, flavorings that we're going to add to our hot chocolate so we have cocoa powder instant coffee some corn starch i have candied orange and some warming spices like the cinnamon powder clove powder and ginger powder i'm going to chuck all of this into this saucepan that contains the milk and nutella so i'm just going to add it in now i haven't added any sugar as you may have seen so firstly just give it a quick whisk like so make sure that the cocoa powder is well mixed with the milk and nutella and the other ingredients and then just give it a quick taste just a tiny spoonful uh just to see if you're happy with the sweetness if you'd like it to be a bit more sweeter then you can go ahead and add some caster sugar or some normal granulated sugar as per your liking now you can see i have put it on the heat and on a medium heat i'm first going to bring this to a boil and once it comes to the boil i'm just going to keep boiling this on medium heat not high on medium heat for about 2 to 3 minutes and it will start to thicken up thanks to the corn starch that's in there and it's also very important that you keep whisking it all the time you do not want any of the ingredients to catch at the bottom and burn so keep whisking this all the time on a medium heat you will see that it starts to bubble and boil and it's getting really nice and thick at this point this is magic that is brewing in this saucepan i guarantee you guys this hot chocolate is so comforting just keep whisking this all the time and after about 2 to 3 minutes the hot chocolate will be ready it's very easy very quick as you can see and it's super super delicious now as you can see the hot chocolate is ready but we're not just going to pour it straight into the cup because you see there are some candied oranges in there which have imparted their flavor so i'm just going to strain it and also there might be some fibers from the spice mixes so you don't want any of that you just want smooth hot chocolate so just strain it and once your cup is full now you can have it just the way it is right now but i like to go a step further and i have a milk frother at home it's a very inexpensive uh, equipment that i just love using with my coffees as well so i'm just going to use my milk frother and just froth this hot chocolate a little bit so it just adds a bit of lightness so to speak but this is totally optional only if you wish and you'll notice that it'll get a little bit foamy on the top which is just incredible now it's time to add our lovely toppings so obviously for hot chocolate it's always marshmallows now we get these chunky marshmallows here so i have cut them into tiny pieces one large chunk gets about eight tiny pieces so i'm going to stuff it with some of those marshmallows candied ginger some nutties or chocolate candy and some candied orange So that's it guys this was my recipe for the spice nutella hot chocolate i really hope you give this a go if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again next time until then goodbye and happy baking